The Code of Cooperation is a tool to reflect, assess and trend our continuous improvement and without creating and monitoring our Code of Cooperation it encourages passive rule followers and this process helps us instead foster a self-reflective community of learners who advocate um, a healthy, safe and effective learning environment. The way we have our learners self-assess is for them to rate themselves on a scale from one to four, one being where learners uh, might need help listening or might need help being kind to others, and a level four being where they can go above and beyond and help their fellow learners. I was a level four because Mario fell down and I, and I picked him up and dusted him all off. The way we monitor our code of cooperation is at the end of the day, learners come in and they do a self-reflection in accordance with our code of cooperation and their fellow learners give them a either a thumbs up or a thumbs down to tell whether they agree or disagree with that learner's self-reflection. And if they give a thumbs down, they need to give a reason as to why they disagree with their fellow learner's self-reflection. How are we today, Giovanni? Okay, thumbs up or thumbs down for Giovanni? Ah, okay, thank you. Mario, why why do you disagree? He went in with tackling Gabriel because he wanted to put the iPod. Okay, so Giovanni, were we outside? Were we playing a little too rough? Our learners track their levels daily and they hold on to their trend data. And trending is something that's very much overlooked by learning facilitators. It's very, actually very important because it helps our learners to keep themselves accountable and to envision ways that they can continue to improve in the future.